Are, are you rolling or whatever? Okay. My name is Sam Esmail. I'm the creator of Mr. Robot. Sometimes I dream of saving the world, but I'm just a regular cybersecurity engineer. When we first meet Elliot in season one, he's a loner who doesn't know how to connect to people. Oh, hi. Tyrell Wellick. There's a powerful group of people out there that are secretly running the world. He has this unreconciled vengeance towards E Corp because of a leak that happens at the Washington Township Power Plant. Elliot's father got cancer, and that was the cause of his death. By night, I'm a vigilante hacker. We see that he hacks people to sort of bring justice, but he's also hacking his best friend and his therapist. We start to realize he's actually trying to connect to people. Oh. <sighs> getting off here. I think you should come with me. He's recruited by this mysterious figure who only goes by Mr. Robot. He's taken to this arcade called F Society. We got big things in store. There's a group of hackers that are plotting to take down E Corp. The single biggest incident of wealth redistribution in history. <laughs> Vera was Elliot's sort of main nemesis in the first season. When I found out you did this, I got impressed. He has a fascination with Elliot that goes beyond villainy. Your power, I want it. <laughs> Can't afford any distractions. The Dark Army isn't compliant, then there's not much we can do. The Dark Army has taken extraordinary steps to make sure this meeting's exactly how they want it. This meeting has started. She's trolling me. In the first season, White Rose definitely has a soft spot for Elliot because she sees that he's full of as much rage as she is. So are you ready to do this or not? When all parties are ready, we will initiate the hack. After I leave, you will never see me again. $400 billion of wealth was lost today. Who did this? Where's Elliot? Elliot wants to destroy the whole system, but he's trying to fix something in himself. Elliot, I need you to tell me who you think I am. I'm your sister. You're my sister. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. My dead father isn't really dead. You want answers? Follow me. Who are you talking to? You're going to make me say it, aren't you? I am Mr. Robot. By the end of the season, we realize he is, in fact, that mysterious leader, and that he and Mr. Robot are one and the same. Why did you do it? I wanted to save the world. After the first season, when they accomplish their goal and erase everyone's credit, thereby leveling E Corp, the economy in the world goes into disarray. Season two opens with Elliot isolating himself in prison so that he can actually fixate on the revelation that he has this other personality inside him. This control you think you have? It's an illusion. Darlene has become militant. She's essentially forcing people to fight for their freedom. We are in a war, and it's time to stand up. I don't trust the Dark Army. They're trying to cover their tracks, and right now, we're the tracks. You're gonna wanna talk to me. We're not so different. The FBI are on to them. They're basically tracing back all the steps that we saw play out in the first season. Hey, I'm Agent Tapiro. I've been having you tracked. I'm gonna confess. So you're not gonna tell me where you're taking me? It's no coincidence that you and Mr. Alderson became who you are. What does this have to do with Elliot? When Elliot gets released from jail, he discovers that the plan has a second stage to it, and Mr. Robot was an architect of that, along with Terrell. We're not hacking anything. I'm deleting the malware. Elliot, I am warning you. I want it shut down. It's time to finally take back control. You said to stop anyone who gets in the way of our plan. You did this to yourself, Elliot. You know, and you wish you had the power to hit undo. Like when you crash the entire world economy. In the third season, we find Elliot wanting to go back and to essentially undo what he did in the first season. Something else is off. That ever-looming presence that is Mr. Robot. I don't feel it. Season three begins with Elliot and Mr. Robot now at odds more than we've ever seen them before, unable to really see or talk to one another. I need you to talk to him. Just let him come to me. You need to leave us alone so I can get him back to our work. 
What did Mr. Robot mean? Is stage two still on? Your job is to get intel from Elliot on Tyrell Wellick. You were right. Stage two is never called off. We have to get this mission back on track. Elliot's trying to do anything in his power to prevent stage two from happening. That building is going to blow up, and there's not a damn thing you can do to stop it. While Mr. Robot is doing everything in his power to make stage two happen, along with Tyrell and now Angela. Angela, whatever White Rose told you is a lie. This is what you wanted. He thinks that the plan is this attack on the E-Court building in Manhattan. When, in fact, it's 71 buildings across the country. There's been a lot of loss along the journey. Mr. Moss, I'm going to need you to come with us. I am your father. Find a way to live with what you did. She was in my home attempting to steal my badge. Darlene's in trouble. The FBI has a mole. Santiago, what are you doing? <laughs> you work for the Dark Army now. I need you to set a meet with White Rose. By the end of season three, we see them setting their sights on the actual nemesis, which is White Rose. <laughs> to get out of the situation, he has to make a deal with White Rose. No! I've engineered a hack that can move whatever project you have in the Washington Township plant to the Congo. You'll get what you want! Don't do this. What do we do now? Undo the hack. The show is always about Elliot's emotional journey. Remember the day Dad pushed me out the window? Elliot, you weren't pushed. You jumped. I'm gonna get off at the next stop. Uh, I think you should come with me. Whatever happens after this, I want us to keep talking. One good thing came out of all of this. They showed themselves. Top 1% of the 1%. The ones in control. And now I'm gonna take them down. Season four is the first time you really see these two working together with this common goal of taking down White Rose. We don't have a lot of time. We can take them down together. She's gonna pay for what she's done. She can't hide from what's coming for her. 